Hello again folks, welcome back to the next episode of Doctor playing Skyrim, the Argonian Assassin. In the previous episode we went and uh, saw Asran from the Dawn Guard and he sent us on a mission, which apparently is a quote unquote a vital mission. So let's not keep the man waiting and let's get on going. Uh, my apologies about yesterday and only having one episode for you guys. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, just it, it, it's been a crazy day. I'm sure most of you agree. Thanksgiving and all that. However, it's falling nicely together with uh, a question that I have for you. I hear a dragon. Oh boy. It's gonna be one of those dragons again. Ah, whatever. Is he attacking something? I'm here! Like, like, like. Fuss! Ah. Frustrations rising. I hate that so much, folks. Anyways, uh, I completely forgot. Oh yeah, the question. I had a question for you guys. Which is in the form of... What do you guys want to see? Would you guys like me to go vampire and have Harkonnen bite me? Or do you want me to go and finish off the uh, Dawn Guard storyline as uh, a Dawn Guard completely and do all the side quests etc and it, at the end let Serana bite me Sudden arrow to the face. That poor orc has no clue what's going on. Let's go and have some fun with him, shall we? But yeah, let me know in the comments below uh, what you like me to do. Either I go and help Serana, uh, I mean, or become a vampire, or I will go and do the whole Donegard thing. Uh, I can take him. There we go, beautiful! Like, as far as I could tell, there wasn't much that uh, the whole... What was it called again? The vampires would give me in the end, which kind of made me go like, "Huh, that's not really too in." That poor chicken. Uh, which made me go like, "Huh, that's not really too interesting, now is it?" Uh, maybe I'm looking wrong or something. But uh, do the vampires give you if you join them? Do they give anything uh, specific to them? Like, I know if you join the Dawn Guard, you get access to armor trolls and the crossbows. And I personally see. Uh, having upgraded crossbows as a uh, great help. Huh, interesting. Let's see what these fellows are up to. Of course they're standing really annoying next to each other. I'm sure you will. Oh 
disarmed, huh? You don't like that? I thought I had the disarming shot. I did have the disarming shot, didn't I, folks? Just for... <gasps> oh! Now I do. Wow. There you go. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Who said I was lost? Stupid Kajit. Really? That that ay ay ay. That was fun. Anyways, I hope in this episode we'll actually be able to head onwards towards, uh, was it a cave thingy that we needed to go to? And I know I'm running over the road, just, uh, I'm sure horse is here somewhere. <laughs> I'm sure horse is here somewhere, yeah. I think. Maybe not. I know I want to go to Shorestone and talk to the innkeeper because I know that there's a dragon up here that I wanted, I think. Should give me the second uh, aura shout. Which, uh, as you guys have seen, uh, I use that a lot. I'm just calling Horsey because otherwise this is going to take forever. I have no clue where Horsey was. Okay, Shorestone. There we go. Luckily we're making some good speed here. So yeah, I've been really trying to break my head over the fact that do I want to join the Dawn Guard or do I want to join the Vampires? I would have joined the Vampires but I don't see anything special uh, that they give as a faction after the whole thing with the Radiant Quests. I know that the Dawn Guard gives you trolls. Sorry, I was just looking at what was going on over there. It's a spider and, a, and one of those vermin things. I know that the Dawn Guard gives you crossbows and trolls and the vampires just give you nothing. Nothing at all. I'm I'm just running into town. I'm really not too interested in again killing those bandits. Must be my imagination. Yeah, totally it is. Um where was the inn? Does anybody know where the inn is? Is this the inn? Are you an inn? No. Whoa. Oh dear. Um Ha <sighs> bugger. Okay. Did I just attack the wrong person? No, I don't want to kill Eric. I don't know who that is. I think everybody is currently aggressive against me. This cannot be good. I'm sorry man, I just saw a... look like a bloody necromancer! Ah... Oh, she didn't die. Dude, dude! Oh, ah, oh, come on, really? I just wanted to help and kill a dragon here. Come on. Finally. 
Okay, now I'll just go to a guard and say like, hey, I'm I'm really sorry, man. Here, have some money. Uh, it was a total accident. Because in, th in this case, I'm gonna have to agree. I attacked her. That was like completely dumb of me. That was really really dumb of me. I saw a necromancer rope, and I was like, let's kill the necromancer. Oh well. I'm putting, uh, I'm being smart and I'm putting all of my stolen goods into Horsey. There you go. All the stolen goods are currently in Horsey. Perfect. Now I just need to go to the guards and say that we are really terribly, terribly sorry for attacking that chick. She was wearing a necromancer robe. I am so sorry, man. Somebody help. Someone do got to thinking. Maybe I'm the dragonborn. Wait. And I just don't know it yet. I I'm I'm sorry, the I the Imperial ah. think we need their law. Is she attacking Do it next time? Ah. Okay, look at me. I'm putting my weapons <coughs> down. Hello? Dude! She just keeps... Folks, I'm gonna see if she is like important to something or someone uh, because this is kind of ridiculous. So one second. Well then, that's most interesting because Erica isn't showing up in any of my lists. Okay. Let this be a lesson, folks. Oh. Do not attack the Dragonborn. You guys want some too? Thought so. Sad I was sorry. Like seriously, these people. Hey, what's how's it going? That's Filnar's house. I dude. I've got a lot of respect for the restoration. Ah, uh, seriously, I can't even go to guard and say like, hey, these people are attacking me. I'm innocent. Uh, I'll pay him. Is there even an inn here? Gonna go for an inn, but I don't see an inn. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go for that dragon. Because this this is now not going anywhere and we're just derping around in this town. It's not even a nice little Okay horsey. Do it your way. I feel kinda bad for that chick and I have no idea who she is. Uh, but it didn't give me a bounty. So, whatever, I don't care. She died, I live. It's the way of the world. Who in their right mind would walk around in necromancer robes though? Come on now. That's not very smart now, is it? Of course there's gonna be like a do-gooder, like yours truly, who's gonna go like, hey, it's a necromancer and she's attacking this poor warrior who apparently was a bandit. And he'll go like, grr, in face on the necromancer. Oh come on, I just got here and I... Oh dear. Dude, how did you even see me? Oh, there it is. Oh, oh boy, he's like flying on top of me. Dude, chill. Whoa, that's a big dragon. Holy. I'm gonna hide here a little bit, cuz. Oh, yeah, that, that was a smart idea. That's a blood dragon, alright. Now, oh, we're gonna go kill this blood dragon in this episode.
Yeah, folks, this is gonna take a little while. So, folks, I'm just gonna go and switch over to the next episode. So, I'll be right back. <laughs> 